Hello, my name is Lisbeth Iverson, and I'm really grateful to be here in Pittsburgh. I'm an architect, interior designer, and planner, and other things. And I was a former commissioner, politician, for urban development, uh, environment, and climate in the city of Bergen. It's the second largest city of Norway. And uh, eventually, I worked also with uh, housing programs, transport, and social inclusion. I now work in the south of Norway, in the city called Arendal. And I'm the leader of an innovative network of uh, groups and peoples, uh, people and local community. Uh, we work in the field of social inclusion and integration for all citizens. Very difficult task, so how to approach that? Uh, places belong to people. It's about democracy, empowerment and environment. Um, and it's about acting, not just talking. How can we get to know our citizens and build trust, which is very essential if you want to have a change, and also to uh, get the engagement up for the place and for the cities. We are hundreds of volunteers. We work with the municipality, NGOs, organizations, and health department of Norway, and we work together in the project and network to fight uh, loneliness and segregation. But how do I work and how do we work? I go out of my office every day, most of the day, to look for people. I knock on doors and we do a lot of different approaches to find people. We go out of our offices, walk in the streets, talk to people, and we invite others to come talk with us. We do workshops, local meetings, and open conferences that are free. Um, we ask if we can visit others, like the immigrants' organizations, national health organization, the sports club, the tourist office, the introduction center for refugees, because we go to them. We ask what people like about the city and the place, and what they would like to do. And we make things happen, like with this project, uh, which we have called I'm Your Greatest Supporter. It's a creative idea that came up when we talk to people everywhere. They would like to do some things, create some small community happening, gathering, but who had the money to, to get things, you know, to do this? How can they actually do things together? And it's too complicated if they didn't have this tool. So it's built by volunteers, and it's a pilot project, and it's really become very interesting because it's about, you know, to play in the public space. So it's a tool and a mean to get to know people. We note down names, but uh, we, we come to the streets and we open this uh, trailer with benches and tables, and we have games, and people stop and they say, what's going on? Who are you? And they play, and they stay on, and more people come, and the children, after they come from high school, they stop. And you couldn't believe what's happening, because people play with people they don't know. And so this is uh, a mean where we can, everybody can borrow this. And volunteers are bringing it, and people have to do something themselves. They have to create this thing happening in the neighborhood, in the school arena, everywhere where there's a space. And it's, it's so busy, this, this trailer, that we are going to get funds for, for two more, and it's going to be stationed in different places in the city. This is just one simple approach, how to, to... Actually, what we found out was that people really are sick and tired of loneliness, and they want to, to play, even the grown-ups. They are interested in, you know, getting to know people, and this is a very easy way of of talking to them. So cities are about people and places are about people. And I think we need, uh, people need placemaking and placemaking need people. So it's a very important driving force, this movement that we are in. And I think it's, it's also a tool for, uh, for a better and more prosperous and happier and healthier community where we are each other's greatest supporters. But I think all of us need to change. We all need to think, how do we think about this placemaking? We, are, we think about the others. 
you know, how can we reach the others, but it's actually about you and, you and I. So I, I'm really grateful to be here. I, I think uh, we should not forget that uh, people are social beings. Thank you. <laughs>